hello my lovely people good morning good afternoon good evening good night welcome to my youtube channel my name is jen if this is the first time you are seeing me thank you so much when you finish watching please 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 consider consider subscribing press your notification bell so when i put up a video you will get it you will get it just like that it's easy okay and if you are my return subscriber from here i love you i love you so much thank you please share my videos um <clears throat> tell your friends to come and help me let's get to our 1000 my one year is almost just a little pinchy it's, it's almost here so send me topics that you want me to talk about i am here to talk about it i love you guys and i appreciate all the support that you guys are giving me may god richly bless you i love you so today i saw a video in the internet i love getting into this internet thing thank god i got in it because i didn't know all this time i've been i've been sleeping I, i'm not seeing anything and now that i finally got on this eh, a lot of things are happening oh jesus i saw a young boy and a girl from nigeria for those of you that don't know i'm a nigerian youtuber here in the u.s um i talk about everything just talk about whatever is happening whatever whatever good bad whatever okay so this uh people there um, the man came out in the public with her with his friends to propose to the to the girlfriend that they've been dating for five years and the girl is standing right there looking at him and and his friends that means the man planned it for his friends to be with him because somebody else was videotaping it they planning for for him to come and propose to the girl so the girl was when he brought out his ring so the girl was there looking at him like okay okay yeah okay how can you come here to come and propose to me and you can't get on your knees uh even to the extent that the the person that was videotaping said get on your knees so the the man pretended like he didn't hear so i he he finally had when the man said get on your knees if you really love her and you want to propose getting on your knees is not going to do anything get on your knees man so the man said to the girl if i get on my nails that's not love you know i love you i've been dating you for five years he said yeah. the girl is like you brought me out here to embarrass me you can't get on your nails if you are here to propose to me you are we are stand what the heck are you doing you know she got very 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 angry so the man is like you know i love you if i get on my nails that does not show love so you don't they kept going back and forth back and forth and the man refused to get on his nails so the guy the girl got very very angry and walked away took her stuff and walked away and said do not talk to me so that's why i came here you see in those days there are different different ways people propose some people can put it in a glass of wine and they drink in the wine and the woman found out that there's a ring in it and the uh, different different ways and he sees it and that was that's it that's the proposal and some people can put it in a cake some people can even put it while they are lying down some people can just put it while they are eating but in these days that um people are following this western ways i don't think our mothers and our fathers got on their knees uh, to propose and even one of the the the, the actors one of the elder a, 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 is it a doce peter a, pete a doce came out and told the young ones in nigeria maybe that's why that boy didn't do that because it looks like an evil man you see Igbo people eh? i never seen people primitive like all of you they want to live like a like western people but when it comes to being emotic they were they are number one so if you know you're not going to get on your knees to say you what is he going to take out of you what is he going to take out of you to get on your knees since you want to bring it out so that the poor girl will have something to to show her friends 
that I'm now getting married. Now I propose. So my advice to to this, you know, uh, here they have a is it they call it contab uh, compatibility con compatibility. <laughs> I beg go <laughs> compatibility something that they do. If I am the one comparing that between two of you and see if two of you are can stay at m husband and wife i will say no no my sister my little girl please walk away he has anger problem he's he you, if he cannot even come on get since he said he love you and uh, he know that you like for him to get on a deal and just propose that's what you want and he couldn't do it. And he's arguing. If he cannot do it for you now that you two of you have not said I do. Eh? It won't happen. You will be horrible. I've done a video about uh, about uh, things that when you see it in a man that you shouldn't get. Especially when you are trying to get into it. According to him, you guys have been together for five years. And after waiting for five years and you come to propose to her. And she wants you to get on the nail. And you couldn't do it. It's not like it's a big deal. It's not a big deal. But for the fact that she said it. Uh, get on your nails and propose to me in the public. She said, do you know people are watching us? Do you know you are embarrassing me? The man, I think because the, the ego was just too much. The ego in him was just too much. So that marriage will not last. The same way they, he, he embarrassed her in the public. That's the same way the marriage is going to end so quick. So, my lovely people, there are some things that um that is unnecessary. This one was unnecessary, but it became necessary when the man has to bring her in the public to come and propose. And come on, come on. If you really love, the, you bend for some foolish things. You bend and you get on your knees and say, what the heck? Get on your knees and say, my sister, my lovely lovely jane would you marry me and i will gladly say yes i will marry you what did that take out of you nothing but the ego hey lord so if i if somebody will get this video eh i will tell the girl leave him alone he's not good you guys is it's it, it can it cannot work because the ego in him is too much. Even his friend kept yelling at him, say, do, do it. He's not going to take anything. Do it. And he couldn't do it. So the girl walked away. So my girl, the same way you walked away, if I were you, I will continue to walk. If he can come in the dark, maybe now he will come in the dark and he will propose to you or he will apologize to you, then where nobody will see him. You, he doesn't value you at all. If he cannot do it in the public where people will see him, he does not value you. Or there must be something that he's trying to hide. Or somebody that he doesn't want to see him getting on his knees. Or he's listening to Peter Doche that told them that Igbo men are not supposed to get on their knees for, for, for women. Mm. I don't know which one is it. So my people, please. There are some little, little things that when you see it in a man that, or a woman that you're supposed to marry, if you cannot handle it now that the things, everything is fresh, please don't get into it because it will get worse. Thank you so much for listening. I love you. Bye-bye.